Hi, my name is Susan Hoopler. I'm a, an assistant professor of early childhood education at Corning Community College. Um, Corning Community College is located in Corning, New York. We are in what's considered the southern tier of New York. Um, we have a lot of Finger Lakes around, um, wineries. We are famous for our Corning Museum of Playa. Um, so we live in a very rich area. Um, I know a lot of people enjoy coming here to visit. Um, we're very busy over the summer. Um, I am teaching here at the college. Part-time I started. I'm full-time now. Um, I started in 2000, so I've been here quite a while. And I, I love my job. I love teaching. Um, I love working with the students. In fact, this morning, um, I was out observing a student. I am able to go out and observe um, where my students do their field work hours. So I spend a lot of time in the field, in daycare centers, family providers, Head Start, preschool. So it gives me a good connection to our community as well. Um, and on that note, I think that's kind of what led me to finally get excited about doing um, a soil course. We have a few faculty here that um, are either doing a soil course now or have done some in the past. And I've listened um, quite a few times to them. And I finally thought, you know what, I'm going to take that next step and see if it's something, <laughs> something for me. Um, so I've gone through that. Know, beginning training and I'm very excited and, and I do have to say for myself I would love to partner with somebody else in the field of early childhood just because I know where we stand um, as a nation or as a state when it comes to early childhood we hear a lot about the importance of it all the way up you know from the presidential level but they don't often follow through so I would like to find out how another country value um, early childhood education. We have um, universal pre-K is really growing in our, our area, which will start to affect our Head Start. So we have our Head Starts now trying to become early Head Start. Um, so a lot of things I'm interested in. I think another thing that I would like to really hear about is what role do men play in the field of early childhood? Um, and in fact, this morning when I was doing my observation, I was at a preschool, and out of a staff of six, actually two of them are men. And that is huge and exciting. Um, and I've had both of them as students. And one said, hardest thing for me is for people to accept that I really want to work with young children um, and that I'm not doing it for you know, reasons that aren't acceptable, obviously. So I would really like to. I think those are two big things for me. Um, you know, what is the value of education uh, for early childhood? And, you know, we have a lot of young men um, that would love to be in the field but choose not to for various reasons. And and I think we're missing the boat with a lot of those gaps um, as well. So that's, that's, you know, what I'm looking forward to. Um, for a country, I think my students would benefit greatly if they could talk with other students. Um, if we could do it as a class, that would be great. But obviously, you know, that depends on the country and location and time as well. Um, but I think my students to be able to have myself present as well as partnering instructor present, sometimes they need that little push to get things going. But if we could generate questions, I think that they would truly appreciate um, you know, how other countries even approach early childhood when it comes to um, college work as well. So those are the things that I'm looking forward to and you know, just really talking to somebody else that is passionate um, about early childhood as I am. So I look forward to that um, and I'm excited for my opportunity to teach a COIL course. Thank you so much.